This is an MMO Sanctuary video overview. We recently did a review of Fallen Earth, and we also wanted to give you a more in-depth look at some of the specific components. Here today, I'm going to be walking you through a little bit of the selections available to you in your character customization. Now you'll notice that uh, you've got a sort of unusual looking collar on there, and, and that is part of all of the clones uh, present in, in Fallen Earth. The graphics themselves, uh, I have them set to high setting, and as you can see, it, it really does pay off to be able to do that, although it is going to take a fairly up-to-date gaming system to be able to do that. We have a variety of options here beyond gender. There are a number of head and facial options that are not simply just skins, but an entire facial morphing uh, system. You can see that there are a number of different shapes available in terms of different heads to give yourself. And we'll just uh, pick one here. You've also got additional facial skin options here beyond the uh, dimensions of your face. And of course, skin color can be changed. Um, there's a, a variety of different uh, skin features, various tones and tints for all of the human races. And they even have an age slider to increase the overall age of your character. A couple of different options there selection of eye colors, including some sort of unusual uh, mutant-like looks uh, to the eyes. Very interesting sort of serpent uh, appearance. Uh, that one's sort of a, I don't know, computerized look. Let's go with uh, ooh, that one's pretty interesting. Let's just go with that one. A good amount of hairstyles available to begin with. Um, some of them sort of funky things from spikes to uh, dreads and some other options. Let's go with uh, the spiked mohawk. That's a pretty classic uh, road warrior type look. And you've got a, a good amount of different hair colors uh, available as well. I'm partial to red. I've also got some facial hair options. These are sort of underlying facial hair. And then secondarily, you have uh, the more clearly visible type of, of facial hair. And you can, you can see that that's, that's also got the same number of uh, colors available to it as, as your normal hair does. Now, uh, also, as part of your, your character's appearance, you have different piercings available in a variety of locations, um, on the head, of course. Um, we've got things from the eyebrows to various numbers of ear piercings and ear piercing locations. You've got one, two, and three on, on each of your ears uh, available. So, pick one of those, and you do get two selections of that. There are also two selections available for facial tattooing, and not only can you place those, but you also have the ability to color them. If I can pick a color here, let's go with a uh, blue, oh, how about that, oh, that's more purple, but we'll stick with that. Unfortunately, the uh, video recording software does slow down my frames per second, so it may look a little bit on the slow side to you. Typically, I would run at, a, at about a normal 30 frames per second at, at this rate, but the uh, video recording software does change that somewhat. Uh, trying to find the option for adjusting that tattoo. And uh, I know that they do have that option to adjust the size as well as the location of the tattoo itself. So I'm just having a bit of a hard time here trying to locate that tool. Alright, well, let's just uh, 
move on a little bit further here. There is also a face paint option and I'll just briefly jump into that. Throw a little face paint on my guy on the other side here. You can uh, change the color on that as well. Go with a little red. And as you can see we've uh, created a pretty unique looking character here. He's got some uh, some pretty cool features. Definitely Uh, some good selections here in terms of generating something unique. Just flip over to the females real quick. Uh, it does leave my main options intact in terms of um, the eyes, the paint, and the number of which face and head morphing selection that I chose, and, and the hair as well. But uh, there are, uh, again, a variety of looks some really interesting sort of funky ones here. I am partial to this uh, crazy spiky look. Very interesting. Um, as I am a male, we'll just go back to that character for now. And I uh, did erase his facial hair because obviously women do not have facial hair. So I'm just going to throw that back on there. <laughs> okay, and then uh, in terms of the body selection, not only can you scale them up and down, but you have the ability to tattoo their other body parts accordingly. Although I have to say in my experience that typically the uh, body tattoos don't show because most of the time you're wearing clothing uh, and or armor. So those may show more in social aspects I would assume, but not necessarily during gameplay. There's also the body hair option for men. Do you want to be really hairy? Slightly hairy? Who knows? It's up to you. You can even change the color of said body hair. How's that for an option? Uh, you do get a choice in terms of your beginning clothing. Again, as you level up, this will change. You will uh, be able to switch out of that into other options and uh, different armor as well if you choose to go that route. Not everyone wears armor. It does have its penalties as well. And uh, it is a skill that, that you're required to learn. So that pretty much covers everything. They even they do have a uh, random name generator, which in, in case you're having a hard time coming up with something, they do have uh, some ideas for you. Once you pop that in, you just confirm your selection and there you have your fallen earth character and you're ready to go about the post-apocalyptic world all right we hope you enjoyed this overlook of fallen earth's character creation and customization options this has been an mmo sanctuary overview and keep an eye out for our upcoming other looks into more specific aspects of the game <laughs>